How's it going everyone? This is Frank Cavona, Mirth Films, and today on Not Much Else, I'm gonna prove to you that you don't need a fancy camera to make videos. All you really need is a thing that's in your pocket, your cell phone. The reason why I really wanted to make this video today is because the thing is, all you really need to make a quality video is a quality idea, and it all starts with conceptualizing and no matter what camera you have, it all depends on what's in front of the lens. When you are recording with a cell phone, it's important to hold the phone horizontal. The reason for this is because when you're mixing and matching footage down the road, all the footage is pretty much gonna be 16 by nine. It's the most aesthetically pleasing to the eye. The first thing that I'm gonna start off with in this video is talking about footage and B-roll. For those who don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is extra footage that will go over parts of the video to fully tell a story. Now it's time to check out some B-roll. Now, not all phones are the same, but for the most part, all of these phones are gonna be able to shoot at least high definition, 30 frames per second, which to be honest, if you're just gonna be putting these videos on the web or you're just gonna be putting them on Instagram, that might be all that you need. With the test footage that I shot using my iPhone XS Max, I gotta say, it's pretty good quality. I was shooting in 4K 30. A lot of the new iPhones are able to shoot all the way up into 4K 60. And when I say 4K 60, that's 60 frames per second, allowing for slow-mo. The fact that an iPhone has 4K 60 and the camera that I'm currently using right now doesn't, just says enough. Now to jump back to the B-roll and just talk about some of the great things that smartphones feature that some cameras don't is slow-mo feature and the time-lapse feature. It was something I could definitely use in, in a normal video of mine too. I, I felt like it was good enough quality that it did the job. It is way more portable than a camera. Yeah, you could just throw a camera in a backpack and you're off on your merry way, put all your lenses in there, you're all good. But the thing is, you don't even need a backpack for your cell phone. It fits right in your pocket. You don't have to worry about bringing any extra batteries. Now, I'm gonna hop into the field for a quick second and we're gonna check out the stabilization and the audio with using the cell phone. Here I am testing the stabilization of using a cell phone while making a video and now I'm testing the audio. You know, it is good to have a mic on your camera when you can and they do make uh, good mics for uh, cell phones actually using the headphone jack. I recommend uh, checking a couple out but um, when you're outside and walking around and this time uh, please just make sure wear a mask. So as you saw the stabilization is not the best when it comes to walking and talking with a, with a smartphone at least on video. Um, Something that I do recommend is if you're gonna do this, maybe pick up a, a cheap selfie stick or even using a tripod. Now you may ask yourself, how are you supposed to use a tripod with a cell phone? Well, let me tell you something. I got this little handy dandy adapter. I'll put a link below of it. What this does is it allows me to mount my phone to the clip to then add the clip to a tripod. This is a universal clip that will work on any tripod. And let me just tell you this, having nice and beautiful B-roll is the most important thing to your video other than the story. When it came to the audio, the audio was usable. Yeah, it's not perfect pitch tone audio like I'm recording right now. And as I mentioned, you can pick up lavalier mics, a shotgun mic for your camera to add on. I just didn't want to do that into the test because I wanted the test to be as raw and just natural as possible when it came to using the phone. Now you may ask yourself, what am I going to do with all these video clips and how am I going to combine them? Well, to be honest, you really don't even have to even put it on your computer. Yeah, there's a lot of great editing software out there that is simple or even more advanced. When I say simple, you're talking about programs like iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, but when you want to get a little more advanced, there's Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, but scratch all that, your cell phone has built-in video editing apps. First off, let's just start with the iPhone. The iPhone has iMovie built in. It comes designated with each and every iPhone. I've used it to create videos. It's really not that bad. And again, your clips are not even leaving your phone and the video's already done 
right in your phone. If you're using Android, Adobe does make Premiere Rush, which is the equivalent of using iMovie, but it's just Adobe's program and, and, and Adobe's lingo. Now I will say, if you do find yourself pushing the boundaries of your phone, it might be time to upgrade a camera. I really hope this video helped you guys out. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning into the second episode of Not Much Else. I'm Frankie Cavone. Please let me know what else you would like to see from this series in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great week.